Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode 52 of season 5. Um, Streamlabs is currently experiencing some like weird difficulties like um, concerning people in the UK. So all like the add-ons, uh, chat box, donation bar, uh, thing right down there. What else was there? Like viewer account. Just those like little add-on things. They're just not working at the moment. So if the overlay looks a bit different, that's why. But anyway, let's get into the episode guys. Um, in the last video, of course, you guys saw me get my freebie. Um, what you didn't see me get, and I'm really upset with myself that I forgot to record this part because I was so caught up in the fact that I was doing other freebies for people that I forgot to record it, and that's why it wasn't in my last video. Um, but I pulled um, Flame, uh, Flame's freebie, and BBL's freebie. Um, Keith Lee for Flame and Undertaker for BBL. So I wish I would have recorded those, gotten the reactions from it from the stream and put it into the video, but obviously I forgot to do that. Um, I won't make that mistake again. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Obviously, on my account, got the worst freebie um, and then worked my way up, um, finishing off with BBLs being the best card in the tier. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have got, definitely not that, that's not what I wanted to open. I've got my quest challenge. Um, I've seen a lot of people get some good stuff in this, so I'm not expecting anything good as I've seen a lot of people get it. That's what normally happens, right? You see all these people with the luck and then you don't get the luck yourself. But um, one guy in particular, I think, got like two J Usos from it. I've seen a bunch of people get at least one from it. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be really happy with one. So yeah, let's see what we can get, guys. Um, can you even? Yeah, you can get a female. I've seen people with females. Okay, so Baron Corbin, Kurt Hawkins, please. Um, or a female. Yeah, three, two, one. Boom! No, god damn it. Three WrestleManias. Okay, well, who are we going to get? Tucker, Bim Balor, and then the Nine Enhancement. Okay, um, well, it's, it's, it's not great. It wasn't great, but I mean, what was it? Gothic or neon to to cataclysm? No, it was it was it was way higher than that. SummerSlam eighteen, if I'm not mistaken. So I suppose the poor rate on it's not too bad. Let's go see if um, Finn Balor's a pro. If Tucker is, I won't bother with him. But Finn is, so I will pro Finn. Um, I did need like I do need like one more in my RTG deck or something. So we'll we'll do Finn, and then Leo and Tucker. I don't know. Tucker's I've got one of them done, so I'll just lock the other one in for now. And then Leo Rush, Leo Rush will probably just get rid of. But yeah, some uh, so three pros there. I do need two, so um, we'll see if I actually uh, actually get them proed or not. Battleground, let's quickly give you guys an up to date on how Battleground is looking. I'm hoping everyone's getting towards the max point. Okay, I'm drawing a Jake and Kenny left. Six hours to go. Should be good, hopefully. Um, and it looks like we're coming up against. If I had to guess, I would I would say they're like shattered, shattered to 35. If I had to guess, I don't think they're in the new tier, but I suppose we can quickly look them up. N W O Hulkamania. All right, let's do it. So what I want to do for you guys is, I I want to upload. I do want to upload more, but I don't want to feel like shit. I, that I didn't didn't want to swear this video. Uh, I don't want to be like. I already said it now. I'm um, like, damn, I don't have any content, so no video and just upload maybe like once or twice a week. I kind of want to upload more than that. And what I also want to do while the tier is at its most hyped, obviously when the most people are playing, is do some longer videos so you guys can just put put a video on and grind some super card. Um, so maybe maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll even take a page out of the legend, uh, Biggie Dude. And maybe do some like half an hour episodes. Hell, even like a 40 minute episode sometimes if, if we're like grinding an event. Maybe like if I'm not going to stream one day and I'm like, oh, I don't I really have enough time to do a stream. And I don't really want to just jump on a stream for like 30 to 40 minutes. Then maybe we record a long video. But I'm not going to do that if no one obviously wants to see it. And it's just boring for everyone. So please, if you're watching this, let me know down below in the comments. Are you guys interested in seeing videos that are longer than 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes? Please do let me know down below in the comments or just tell me like, no, five minutes, keep it to the point, give us rewards, give us what we want to see, the interesting stuff and screw the gameplay. But yeah, do let me know because I, I do want the feedback. I just I was just thinking it's been a long time since we've just recorded and just played games and played games. It's for, for so many tiers now, like it's just been 
Battleground, claim this, last game on, on the event. Sometimes even not even last games on events, but it's just it's just so like condensed and just to the point now that I feel like it's got to be the best of the best to, to, to record and to show you guys. You know what I mean? So yeah, do let me know and uh, let's look for this team. I could have spoke, I wish I could multitask, speak and do it, but... What's it? Oh, I forgot the K. No, can I not? Cool. I can add in. Will I find it under this? No, I won't. Okay. Hulk. Oh, it's Hulk Army. Yeah, okay. S SC? SC at the end? C instead of CS. I mean, C, C, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, so, I said like Shad, didn't I? Um, or did I even say Shad or 35? But yeah, pretty much towards, towards what I thought. Not, not in, not in, um, Taclism. God damn it. Um, none of them have got any event cards, right? Apart from LMS cards, which doesn't really count. Yeah, they're, they, they are not, they are not, they are not top, top tier at all. I highly, highly doubt all of them will charge. So it should be an easy battleground. Um, war mode. I've got 1,275 uh, LP. Um, I really wish I'd have saved up towards the end of Shadow Tid, but it is what it is. I haven't, I've seen like YouTube videos, pack openings of this. People have had like 20, 30, 50, 60,000. LP actually mad and I've gotten really decent pack luck so um, made me want to keep it even more but uh, I haven't let's go and get Andre the Giant um, let's go and get Andre the Giant yeah no that's not no let's get let's get the win with Andre the Giant is what I meant to say um, Tony Storm is going down and we'll go with Rick Rude this is okay, this deck. I feel like I'm most of the time getting the 5-0. Um, the 5 picks, I mean the 3-0 with the 5 picks. <laughs> Can't talk today, can I? Um, it, to, to be honest, for me it's fairly early. And you guys will notice it as well. Because normally when I'm recording, there's no daylight around me. It's pitch black. Um, we'll, go with the fifth, we'll go with the 3 strips down the middle here for the 15 cards. And um, who knows, if hopefully I can get an early pull um, in my stream later on today. Make sure the make sure you, you do check out the streams, guys. Links will be in the description. I'll be uploading this video after I've streamed, so yeah, um, pretty much that. I, I probably won't be live, but again, I'm gonna keep gonna. I'm gonna try and figure out a schedule where I can upload and then say in my video that I'm going live, and then I'll actually be live. I just need to figure out the way. I basically I should have uploaded my freebie yesterday during like the evening time but i left it too late and then i was like i'm not gonna upload it now it's too late i ended up uploading it this morning like 8 or 9 a.m for me so obviously in america that was like you know th the middle of the night um therefore the video didn't do particularly very well so far but yeah if you haven't checked out my freebie video make sure you guys go check it out um it is on the channel it's live my freebie my awesome freebie wasn't that good wasn't that good um kill moose kill absolute legend saw what he got that's actually mad um that happened to me not not like back to so in elite tier it was it was an elite tier i believe one of the cards was rusev if i can if i can remember that far back but um i got my pull and then not the next card but my next reset off the board was was a pull so that was pretty cool not exactly the same thing kind of on the same ju just as cool i suppose like Maybe slightly less because it's straight away the next pull and you get that pull animation. But yeah, for me it was it was pretty much the same thing. So that's that's yeah happened to me back in elite tier. And now we pull elite tiers. Well, it's not very hard now to pull to pull two elite cards, is it? But back then, obviously, it was sick. Um, speaking of that, I've been watching um, on Discord with just friends like all my like old videos, like the cringiest of the cringiest videos i could possibly go back to and just look at and watch and just piss myself watching because it is hilariously bad um so i've got me thinking like do any of you guys want to see like me reacting to old videos like not just on this channel but old videos on other channels that i've done 
Um, let me know if that's something that would interest you. Again, guys, in the comments, do let me know because I've got some hilarious videos where you, where I am I am completely exposed to ridicule and uh, and yeah, it's just it's just cringe personified. Like I'm not even kidding. You might think, oh, what I do now is cringy. I mean, it is, but it's nothing compared to to what I uh, what I actually uploaded on YouTube at one stage in my life. So do let me know if you want to see like a video where I react to like three or four of my cringiest and funniest videos I've got already I literally would know exactly which ones to pick as well that's that's the that's, that's the sad thing that I know which which ones um, but yeah that, that, that could be quite fun to be honest they could be quite fun so um, we've done that let's actually get into some road to glory gameplay and um, let's do something I haven't done in ages and talk a bit of wrestling you know talk a bit of wrestling um, let's talk about, first of all, now, if, if, if this is not what you want to see, by the way, guys, you know, a longer episode, just talking, while I play some Road to Glory, then, uh, then definitely click off the video, because the excitement is pretty much that, um, for the video, I'm not sure if there'll be anything in the, yeah, there'll be a battleground pack, sorry guys, yeah, there will be a battleground pack in this video, but, um, it will be towards the end of it, um, so, let's talk wrestling, yeah. Let's talk WWE, and then I'll talk way more interesting than WWE. Um, but first of all, let's talk WWE, sadly. Um, with, you know, Super Showdown and weekly episodes of Raw and SmackDown, the more the more I force myself to watch Raw and SmackDown and pay-per-views, just WWE in general, the more I lose my love for wrestling, the more I don't want to watch wrestling anymore. And it's very sad because, obviously, WWE... You know, I, I want to say at one point it was good, right? It was. There was a point when I used to watch it that it was good. Obviously, no, not Attitude Era because I wasn't, I wasn't watching wrestling at the time. But you know, for me, CM Punk's whole Summer of Punk that was probably the funnest time I've had watching wrestling. Um, the whole Shield angles, those those were always, you know, television was decent, but you know, the the, the weekly episodes were were pretty good. Um, but then, I don't know, somewhere in like 2014, 2015, um, even like, yeah, 2016 maybe, somewhere around those years, it just, something something started happening and it just got worse and worse, but I was still watching it and still getting into it because, you know, I still hadn't like completely understood wrestling and gotten, but you know, understood like, you know, good talent, good wrestlers deserve to, you know, put on good matches and, and good storylines, good feuds, good, you know, all that stuff. But now I notice it all the time. Every five minutes I'm watching Raw Smackdown, I'm like, oh, this is just, it's bad booking, it's bad storytelling, it's not a good match. These two wrestlers could put on a five-star match if WWE let them actually go out and put on a match. You know, like, if, you know, if Vince was like, let's take AJ Nakamura at WrestleMania, right? If it was up to AJ Nakamura, they would have gone out there and they would have torn the freaking house down, okay? They would have had a match of the year candidate a match we'd be talking about for years and years and years, like Undertaker matches at Mania with like Shawn Michaels and stuff. But instead, we got at best a mediocre match, um, and it's just the way it's it is in WWE now. Um, I have countless arguments and debates with people on Discord about this that I I can't bear to watch a match for four or five weeks on Raw or SmackDown and then it and then that's their build to a feud. Them just having matches after match after match. Well, I, I'm not I'm not interested in their feud anymore because I've seen them wrestle six times in the past two months on Raw and SmackDown in tag teams and stuff or in in literally one on one action. Lately, let's just take Ricochet and Cesaro for example. Yeah, they're having good matches, but they've already wrestled four times. Um, if it ever leads to a pay-per-view match, why would I want to see it? I've seen the match four times now. Um, I'm already bored of it. Just little examples like that. I could go on for ages, but you guys don't want to hear me ramble on for ages about how much I personally find WWE booking just stupid and, and bad. And this whole 24-7 championship now, it's funny. And R-Truth, credit where credit's due, R-Truth has great comedic timing. He's a great, he's a, he's a great comedian whatever, like, sports entertainer, if you're naked, that's the word, that's the perfect word to use, he's a great sports entertainer, um, love our truth he's making the belt actually, you know, f every week you want to watch the our truth segment, because you know our truth is going to deliver, and it's going to be funny, but 
But then in the same segment, you have to see people like EC3, and you have to see people like Cedric Alexander, and Robert Roode, and hell, like Rockstar Spider, Drake Maverick, you know, just, there's a lot more other people, the good brothers. Um, I'm, I'm definitely missing out a lot of other names, but you have to see them run around, you know, just like headless chickens, just running around the arena, just literally being like jobbers and it, and it makes me genuinely sad to see that these wrestlers who deserve so much more um getting treated like this nakamura and rusev what's happened to them you know um the viking raiders like come on it's just there's so many wrestlers it's so many and it's just it's insane how many wrestlers are not getting anything Sanity and I I could I could lich I will remember sanity and how much WWE failed sanity and and WWE owe a massive apology to sanity like honestly they they messed up so hard sanity were great in NXT and They have vignettes for two months building them up and what do they do with them? Like it's not even like they tried to do something with them and it failed because at least then they would have tried WWE didn't even try with sanity and it's one of the biggest travesties in, in, in the past couple of years, personally for me. I love Sanity, and I, I loved Eric Young. Um, I still do love Eric Young, but again, Eric, there we go. Eric Young is another one who's running around our truth um, So yeah, WWE, I'm not enjoying it. All of that um, long-winded stuff. I'm sorry, guys, if you're just watching this being like, shut up, I get it. Um, but I, I, I genuinely, I am so fed up with, with, with Raw and SmackDown and WWE, but I, I still watch it. Well, I try and watch every week. At this point, I'm just skipping through it because I can't be asked to watch. Um, Becky Lynch, since winning the titles at Mania, is, it's, been, it's been bad. It has. It's just been very bad. There's been little to any anything, really. She just, she, she, for the first month, came out did the same promo for literally four to five weeks the exact same promo with a couple different words here and there but more or less the same promo and all the momentum's gone now from main eventing wrestlemania and all that and i feel now it's just back to i don't know it's just it's it's all of it's not just one or two or three little things and this it's pretty much everything constantly the only things at this point that are still just about getting me to watch the shows is what well, one that I'm bored and I genuinely have nothing else to do and when it's that time of the night and it's you're like oh well let's just watch Raw or Smackdown because I've been programmed for the last like five years of my life to do that but it's it's to a point where if our truth Brock Lesnar and Bray Wyatt weren't a thing in WWE I wouldn't be watching wrestling like I wouldn't like uh, WWE I wouldn't I wouldn't be watching WWE I really wouldn't um Again, I'll give credit where credit's due. Brock Lesnar's been decently booked, I think, since he won Money in the Bank. Um, him winning Money in the Bank is a separate thing. Do I think he should have won it? No. I think it should have gone to someone who, you know, actually needed it. But he's been, you can't say he's been booked badly. He's, 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 he's actually been featured on, on Raw. Um, you know, he's, he's, they're doing something, so I can't complain with that. Bray Wyatt, obviously, is, is fantastic. But again, I've... I've in my opinion, I strongly believe it's all Bray Wyatt's doing, um, like all Bray Wyatt's doing, and and our truth again. It's just because it's our truth, and he's genuinely a funny guy and and, and a a likable person, a likable character. Um, so yeah, let's let's change the let's change the gear though. Let's go on to AEW because AEW has really made me like interested again like it's really piqued my interest for wrestling and i really can't wait till like october or something is it when they start doing weekly shows um i want to get invested i want to i want to get behind it i want to start watching the weekly shows i want to watch the pay-per-views i want to get behind the company watch the company and and hopefully see them progress like year and year on like yeah every year hopefully and hopefully they're here for for many years to come because they know what they need to do, right? To, 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 to com not even compete with WWE, because let's be honest, there's there's no chance that they can compete with WWE for a while at least. But the hardcore fans who are like me, completely sick of WWE, and there are a lot of us. Um, well, we're gonna watch AEW, and if AEW make the most of doing what WWE don't do, and that's you know good wrestling. Good storylines, you know, um, 
like booking that makes sense you know not just one week you're a heel the next week you're a face for absolutely no reason like no explanation behind it um no three shade mcmahon segments on smackdown and on raw every single you know those kind of things like no one wants to see shane mcmahon on raw and on smackdown every single week nobody like and if you do if there's someone watching this video who actually enjoys Shane McMahon coming out twice during Raw and coming out twice during SmackDown and dominating all the he the major storylines in WWE, then like I am baffled. Like you, you're gonna have to explain to me why, because it, I can't I can't understand it. I personally can't understand it. Um, so yeah, if AEW can capitalize off of what WWE do wrong, then God, they've they're gonna have a big audience behind them and and, and a passionate audience behind them because. But that's all I want to see. I just want to see some. I just want to see a good storyline, a good feud build up to a match on a pay per view. And I don't know, maybe that match that we build up to on a pay per view we haven't seen, you know, on week one, week two, week three, and week four of, of a calendar month. You know what I mean? Like, and we act, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, yeah, double or nothing and all in were great. Um, honestly great i i absolutely loved all in um and love double or nothing you know um and i'm looking for what i'm a fe 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 something fe feisted so i don't know something like that is the next name for their pay-per-view which i'll also be looking forward to um so yeah i'm i'm very optimistic with AEW, and yeah can't wait to not have to watch wwe every week to be honest, I don't even think I'm going to anymore. I keep saying I'm not going to, but every week I'm just like, let me just put it on. I don't know, there might be something on here that's, that's worth watching. And every week it disappoints me. So, so yeah. Um, we're going to finish off this Road to Grow game, and then we'll end the this part of the video. I think it's been at least me rambling on about wrestling for 10 minutes, 15. I don't even know how long it's been. Um, please do let me know in the comments, guys. If you want to write me an essay in the comments about what your opinions are, you know, do. Um, I'll, I'll genuinely read it because I'm interested in what you guys think as well because Obviously not everyone shares my opinions. Obviously not everyone looks at wrestling the same way I do We all have different different opinions and thank God we do because it would be very boring if we all had the same opinion um, But yeah, maybe maybe yeah, maybe it's just not clicking with me. Maybe you guys are enjoying it Ah, oh, I thought the pull animation was it, it, it kind of like kind of dragged on a bit there and I felt I felt just maybe just maybe it would be the best way to end off the video but a shattered card it's not too bad um got a decent amount of like shattered neons gothics all of that um over over the past day since the update's been out so that's cool um my aim is obviously just taker my that's my aim I'm not going to go for the heroic I don't think so taker will be great we'll see what we can do guys thank you so much for watching they will Either be a battleground pack in this video, at the end of it, if there's no, if, if you guys can see on the little red thing that there's no segment after this, then thank you for watching, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, if there is something extra, I hope you enjoyed the battleground pack guys, peace out, take care.